Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? El día de hoy aquí en Chagalain, chicos, vamos a continuar con con nuestra serie aquí de Vampires eh, y aquí tiene que ir la madre eh, no hemos avanzado mucho la verdad, o sea, si lo llevo al hecho real Hemos, hemos hablado con, con alguna gente. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Pero no Goodbye, sé. miss. Entonces, bueno, claramente hemos ayudado algo. Ah, no lo he visto. No tengo idea dónde, dónde va a estar, weón. Eh, ahora, migraña, no tengo idea. Ese tipo tampoco tengo idea. No hay nada, nada, no hay información al respecto. Investiga las acciones de Darius Petri. Y eso, si yo lo veo, es acá. Así que bueno, vamos a ir para allá, weón. La verdad que ya... No voy a perder más tiempo. I will return later. Strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be from Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is <coughs> tracking me just downwind. Fíjense que me acabo de dar cuenta una cosa, o sea... It's locked. Me acabo de dar cuenta I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Me acabo de dar cuenta de que yo puedo ver la enfermedad que él tiene, weón. Bueno. Desde acá, o sea, desde la. Desde la visión de vampiro. Qué locura, weón. Bueno. Good evening, Doctor. Can I help you? I heard you are investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavory activities. Ah! Could it be Dorothy Crane? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He never goes out? No. 
A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. Interesante, interesante, interesante. Um... Tenemos un par de cosas que nos faltan todavía. Fíjense aquí, aquí ya hemos completado todo. Aquí nos falta encuentra la enfermedad. Esa weá encuentra a la enfermera. Hmm. Ahora es el tercer acto. Encuentra a los habitantes, encuentra a Richard Nathan, encuentra el buzón del... Ahora... Los habitantes, claro, son la gente que voy hablando, ¿me entiendes? Que para ser real, no me faltan tantos, me faltan dos... Me faltan tres, weón. Bueno. De los cuales uno va a estar acá. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Aquí hay toda una mierda de información rara, wea. Que te lleva... A más mierda. Locked, all right. El es primero. Ahora está la concha su madre el universo. ¿Cómo entrar ahí? No sé, pero está allá, fíjense. Ahora es raro que esta flaca tenga estas plantas, man. Tres putas plantas. No habla nada. Amelia, I know you work for Dorothy Craig. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Mm. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Very well. No quiere hablar nada. <risa> eh, creo que no confía en nosotros, la verdad. Ahora... Tengo que de alguna forma entrar ahí. Ahora, podría darme igual a la iglesia y decir que por el otro lado hay una entrada. Me es como el único que puedo. Acuérdense que el hijo... Eh, el cura mandó al hijo al cementerio, eso fue lo que dijo. Se me había olvidado esa weá de que cuando alguien está haciendo algo raro, eh, uno 
puede ver las pulsaciones de la persona y ves es que realmente está mintiendo ¿no? Lo que más te marca con rojo es la sangre. ¿no? Aquí debería estar. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town. My words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott, at your service. May I ask what you're doing at this hour of night, sir? Do you live here? Not at all. I'm just enjoying the pleasure of a quiet walk. Though night talks are always preferable, if you ask me. Especially with strangers. But are you not afraid of the epidemic? Oh, why should I? I see some equity in the Spanish flu. Uh, no flesh should be saved, say the scriptures. Good or evil, rich or poor, all are equal in the eyes of the flu. If you say so. But as a physician in a time of epidemic, I must caution you to avoid unnecessary exposure, sir. Thank you, Doctor. But we both know the seeker of truth has to go boldly where the weak dare not. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in the city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic, quiet, nowhere to be found. And now, listen to this oddly peaceful silence. Yes, the enjoyable silence of the grave. You have a unique perspective on the situation, I must admit. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? Are you aware that your life could be in danger in this part of town? But this is where I must be to feel the real beat of the city. I had to come, see it for myself, alone. I understand your need for solitude, but it's not safe around here. I don't care. I don't have many friends, Doctor, and my family despises me. If some misfortune came upon you, Who would be here to help you? Well, you for a start, my dear doctor. ¿Quién estaría si ni te ayuda yo? Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. 
In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight, the barren smiles and the added hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox, the stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about, and that's what Whitechapel is made of. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my dear muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much, and that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your muse. One day, perhaps. I'll ask her to come with me. But ah. Oh. Will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? Did you know the mute florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. Mm. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious Camellia. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercourt. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But sorry, no, never heard of her. I'll leave you alone. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. Good Ahora, evening, Mr. Nethercourt. And good evening to you too. Do you, you need me. medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. I'll leave you alone. No sé si no es agradecida o no sé qué verga, porque tú lo, a ver, la puedes, la puedes ayudar, ella yo a ellos dos, ella al chico, a él me falta, a él ya le ayudé, eh, o no, no todavía no, ah, bueno a él ya le ayudé, que fue claro, me falta a él. Pero... Ah, se está recuperando. Ay, es que me... Darius... Ah. Darius es el hombre que está... Ya, es... Darius es el hombre que está... Falta ayudar a él. Y a él. Faltan dos o tres, más o menos. Darius es el weón que no me deja entrar a su casa, ese es Darius. Oh, Camellia. Angel made flesh. 
Sasha, I tell you. Dois agentes uh... Ahora debería poder entrar al, al lugar Ahora no podía encontrar eh, A este tipo Que yo se vi, o sea, lo encontré pero estaba en otro lado A este tipo que es Darius Que lo, lo pienso encontrar ahora Bueno, a mi graño no la puedo no la puedo mejorar Faltaría en dos personas yo creo Más o menos Hello young man I'm Dr. Reed And I would like to ask you a few questions May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come hey, on, he he him. Him. I'm Harry, by the way. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which... Enfermo, agotamiento. Voy a tener que bajar, no sé si traje agotamiento. What can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. I will see... No, no traje la weá, pero lo voy a crear. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? This place is awful, I agree. But does that not mean your situation can only improve? That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe.
Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Voy a volver, voy a volver acá, sí o sí. Voy a traer medicamentos, sí o sí. Eh, en serio. No me cuesta nada. It's locked. No me cuesta nada hacerle un medicamento y traérselo. Bro. Ahí este tipo. Mm. Información. Fíjense que no voy a dar cuenta esa hueá. en distintos lugares ahora él tiene agotamiento yo voy a volver voy a marcar acá que es aquí en realidad y voy a ir a mi casa que está muy cerca de acá la... si no si me quedo está estoy acá o sea. Que nunca ando como preparado como para, no sé, bueno, para traer dos de agotamiento, dos de enfermedad. No sé, tal vez debería andar preparado con... Unas cosas, o sea, tal vez con dos de estas, dos de estas, bronquitis no es muy poco, es como que esas son como las más típicas, diría yo. Que no, no ando, o sea, no ando como preparado para. para andar curando esto por ahí, ¿no? y esto va a ser lo último que voy a hacer eh, dentro de este episodio la verdad simplemente quiero llevar a este, este chico de acá pero... okay. on, y creo que el juego está muy bien hecho, pero no está hecho, o sea, a ver, no está hecho para todo el mundo, güey. Este juego no es un juego para todo el mundo. No, no, hay gente que no le va a gustar para nada. Buenas noches, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Sure. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? So, I'm not bothered. Do you need any medicine? Yes, sir. You'll feel better with this, but you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities. But I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Reed. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. Mm. Goodbye. Um, recuperándose, recuperándose. Recuperándose. Eso no, no puedo hacer nada, recuperándose. 
bronquitis que no lo veo todavía, recuperándose, no lo veo todavía, no lo veo todavía. Ahora ya conozco casi todos. Me falta muy poco la verdad. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Eh, muy poco. En este puto pueblo. You again. Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I make some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. People won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Dentro de esta wea, o sea. Fancy part. You never. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile. Not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow up here. What troubles him exactly? Well, despite being his father's son. Almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Como que se van abriendo, se van abriendo cosas, pero no es, no se van abriendo todo. Good evening, Harry. May I? Sure. Is there only pain and suffering in this one? Pero no sé, o sea, so, I'm not... se van abriendo cosas de a poco, ¿me entiendes? No sé. Todavía, Goodbye, young man. Todavía hay pistas que, que no... Pain and suffering in this que no tengo. Eh, y esto ya va a ser, como les dije, lo único que, lo último que voy a hacer. La verdad que estoy puro... Shane. ...dando vuelta y viendo cosas, pero... Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. I'm cheap and I'm. Yep. Good evening. It's... I have had enough. Por ahora nada, no, por ahora no tienen nada que me puedan decir, o sea, recuperándose, 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 ese me falta, no tengo, pero también, ese me lo puedo ver, lo puedo recuperar, ese me, todavía no lo veo. Eh. No, casi todo listo, weón, de hecho, ¿Y qué? de esta mierda. Me faltan, o sea, me faltan, Goodbye, me faltan contestarme un par de cositas. Y you? Nada. Goodbye, me. Un dolor. Pero claro, tienes que investigar muchísimo. Me va a pasar un ratito porque quiero ver una cosa y ya. Mr. Petrescu. Just one minute, please. You again? Go away. 
Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Totter. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see, Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Me dejo entrar. Eh, ahora, yo quiero hablar con él porque lo quiero ayudar a él antes de hablar con Dorothy porque no lo va a hacer en este episodio, yo creo. No, 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 da, no da tiempo porque las conversaciones son demasiado largas como para poder abarcar todo ahora. Eh, pero bueno, voy a hacer lo mejor dentro de, de lo que se puede hacer ahora porque, como les digo, estoy ya con el tiempo. Eh, Mierdas, pero It's locked. Pura, este, este juego bueno, es increíblemente bueno. Ahora el tema es que tiene mucha información. Muchísimo. If you want to talk to Dora, you must go across the, the courtyard, courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area, Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Did you refuse to publish Richard Nithercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. Now there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. <laughs> Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Prochescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly that follows her around like a lost a puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Tell me everything. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. 
Dorothea and I shared many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life. And I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. But I still see a dark future ahead for my people. De prácticamente le saqué toda la información que quería, la verdad. Tell me, I do. Ni siquiera, o sea, no hay nada que no me haya hablado, prácticamente. Goodbye. Ahora, yes. Do you need some help? Um. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor. It must be my lucky day. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Sí, ya, yo sabía que él estaba enfermo, obviamente, porque ya lo hemos hablado. Entonces se está recuperando, se está recuperando, se está recuperando. Ese no, mi graña no tengo nada que hacer. Se está recuperando, se está recuperando, se está recuperando, fíjense. Ahora, él me gustaría darle un remedio, pero no tengo. Ahora, a él no lo he visto más, así que no le puedo dar nada. Y son, son solamente cuántas ciudades son. Son cuatro ciudades, o sea que... Y no se están recuperando, son tres se están recuperando. Aquí muy pocos están enfermos, la verdad. Están todos muy bien. Cafalea, que yo no tengo como recuperarlo. Pero este es el hospital. Y el hospital, la verdad, es que está súper bien. Yo maté a ese tipo cuando llegamos. Aquí había mucha gente enferma y solo me falta uno, dos y tres. Me faltan tres personas de las cuales puedo curar una más y me faltarían dos solamente. De ahí no conozco a nadie. Y investigaciones locales. Esto de acá. Son otras mierdas que dicen cruzadas en la ruta. Otras cosas, ven. Superada, superada. Bueno, esas dos son superadas. Superada, superada. Investigaciones locales, nada más. Así que eso, chicos, eso va a ser por el video. Ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten los videos, compartan el canal y nos vemos en un próximo episodio.